President Donald Trump held a special event on Monday at the White House to pay homage to a unique set of World War II veterans, the Navajo Code Talkers, and, as usual, the liberal media ignored the guests of honor and focused on a single Trump remark to use as ammunition to attack. But one of those guests really doesn't understand why such a big deal has been made out of the remark, as he didn't find it to be offensive at all. According to Newsweek, the Navajo Code Talkers were a special group of Native Americans recruited by the Marine Corps to serve a specific purpose in the Pacific Theater against the Imperial Japanese forces. Beginning in 1942 and carrying on through the end of the war, a group of mostly Navajo Native Americans devised an intricate code utilizing certain words from the Navajo language. The language was virtually indecipherable to the Japanese, who were largely unfamiliar with it. Since it lacked a written alphabet, it was almost impossible to learn by an outsider. It is widely agreed by military historians that the Navajo Code Talkers played vital role in the American war effort to defeat Japan, a role for which the Navajo veterans deserve great honor and respect. Trending, children at White House awed by Melania Trump, she looks like an angel, but rather than focus on the guests of honor, the media keyed in on a joke Trump made in reference to Democrat Massachusetts Senator Elizabeth Warren. Trump called Warren Pocahontas, as he has done many times before, and many in the media are now taking it as a kind of racial slur, according to CNN. I just want to thank you because you are very, very special people. You were here long before any of us were here, Trump told his guests. Although, we have a representative in Congress who has been here a long time. Longer than you, they call her Pocahontas. Trump was referring, of course, to the controversy over Warren and her history of citing family lore to back up her claim to be partly Cherokee Indian. Warren described herself as Native American in directories of law professors, according to the Boston Globe. When she was on the faculty at Harvard Law, the school even used her alleged ethnic background to defend and Harvard even used the claim to defend itself against accusations its professors were not diverse enough. There is no evidence she actually is Native America, though. Nonetheless, almost immediately after Trump's comment got out, Warren rushed to find the nearest camera to cry about it and told MSNBC how unfortunate it was that the president couldn't make it through a simple ceremony without using a racial slur. CNN, along with the rest of the media, seemed to agree. Many even pointed out that the ceremony was conducted beneath the portrait of former President Andrew Jackson, who signed the 1830 Indian Removal Act that transferred tens of thousands Indians from their ancestral lands in the southeastern United States to reservations west of the Mississippi killing many in the process. Even some Native American political organizations chimed in, expressing distaste at Trump's joke, though they were at the same time quite pleased that he had bestowed honor upon the deserving veterans. Related, Obama pretends he's president, copies Trump's Asia visits two weeks after Donald returned. Meanwhile, White House Press Secretary Sarah Huckabee Sanders defended Trump, and made it clear the Pocahontas remark was not intended to demean or smear any Native Americans. Warren's evident dishonesty regarding her heritage, Sanders said, was a greater offense than Trump's joke. Amid all of the uproar over Trump's joke and alleged racial slur, one reporter actually took the time to talk to one of the honored guests about the remark, and his reply was most certainly not what the rest of the media would expect, according to the Daily Caller. One of the code talkers, Thomas Bangay, admitted that he was somewhat puzzled by Trump's inclusion of the joke about Warren, but he was in no way offended by it. In fact, for good measure he added, the Marines made us yell Geronimo when we jumped out of planes and that didn't offend me either. Touché, good sir, and thank you for your incredible service to this great country. And for not being an easily offended snowflake. Please share this on Facebook and Twitter so everyone can see what one of the actual Navajo Code talkers had to say about President Trump's racial slur. We strive to the highest conservative values, editorial standards, and truth in journalism, all of which are under attack. Your donation funds the fight against mainstream media corruption and helps us reach millions of readers with the truth. You can also receive the unfiltered truth directly to your inbox by clicking here to subscribe to our newsletter.
We can also alert you to breaking news if you click here to sign up for notifications. And, to ensure Conservative Tribune is in your Facebook news feed, mark Conservative Tribune as follow first. Click here for follow first video instructions. Sincerely, Josh Manning Site Director, Conservative Tribune. What do you think of the uproar over Trump's racial slur and calling Sen? Warren Pocahontas? Scroll down to comment below. Thank you.